Well, hello there, flashlight fans. Lights and Gear is back to show you another flashlight. Night Nightcore <clears throat> has been pretty busy this year, and this time we have the EA11 to show you. It is their latest light in the Explorer series. It takes one AA battery as well as one rechargeable lithium 14500 and will give you 900 lumens. And it also has a red LED, which can come in handy as well. The 900 lumens will only... Um, be present if you use the 14500 lithium. If you use uh, AA alkaline, which you can use, you'll only get uh, about 100 and, uh, 190 lumens on the on turbo mode. But uh, anyway, inside the package, you get uh, this nice little accessory kit here, which includes a belt sheath, and you also have your instruction booklet, and you also have a warranty card. Uh, uh, right, that's um, right here, warranty card. And you have this little um, accessory package, of which has a lanyard and a couple of spare O-rings. And it also has the ever-popular pocket clip, which is already attached to the light. And here is the light, and it's a nice little guy. It's only three and a half inches long. Only just, you know, longer, just long enough for to put the battery in there, and that's it. It's a beautiful little guy. He has a flat bottom, so he does tail stand quite well. And uh, the the, um, <clears throat> the bezel up here is crenellated, so you can even put it down like that with the light on, and it'll shine through the bottom a little bit. But the only way you operate it is with the two buttons here on the side. This is the power, and this is the mode. The, uh, the, the bulb is an XML L2 U2, XML2 U2 LED. It's a little bit... Um, Let's see, orange peel here. The the uh, reflector has an orange peel to it. And this is the red LED right over there, which does some amazing things as well. So uh, inside right now is a 14500 battery, rechargeable lithium, which is what they recommend you use. It'll also take, it'll also take IMR 14500s, which have a higher discharge rate. And uh, you just turn it on, and it does all kinds of wonderful things. The two switches on here um, um, <clears throat> are multifunctional. I would suggest going to my website, lightsandgear.com, where you can read all about the switches individually and all the things that they do. Uh, high, medium, low, and uh, turbo is what you'll get out of this light. Let's see. Yeah, that's uh, ultra low right there. And uh, this is turbo right here. Camera tries to compensate for the brightnesses, of course. And uh, you'll get um, a pretty good swath of light with this, being that it is an XML LED. It'll be, uh, you know, it's a pretty broad beam, unlike some of the earlier ones, or at least the EC21, which they came out with, which I also reviewed, which had an XPGR5, which was an older LED and very narrow in focus, but this one is very, is very broad, seeing that it's an XML. And the red light... You can also uh, take a look at, uh, just briefly, I'll show you the uh, red light here. It's right there. And again, if you uh, read the review on my website, you can see uh, how to get to the red light. And you'll, you can also get to strobe and SOS are also on here. Strobe and SOS are accessible from any lighting mode. But this is the red light, of course, right here. And you can also make the red light uh, flash just like that and you can also make the red light go in a, in location beacon mode uh, that's one of the other flashing modes the light has and that can also be pretty interesting to utilize let me see if I can find it on here uh, let's see location beacon oh yeah there's strobe and uh, there's a uh, location beacon in the regular flashing mode, or regular white mode is location beacon. And here is uh, SOS. The camera just does not like these flashing modes. <laughs> That's for darn sure. Um, but um, the light does a whole bunch of stuff. As I say, my website explains all the modes very well, as well as gives you some outdoor beam shots. So uh, I would advise you uh, click the link down below so you can see all that stuff. And um, also a link to the light should you, might, should you might like to make a purchase of it. You can do so at lightsandgear.com. And um, 
there we go with the basic operation of the Nightcore EA11 and uh, you can still use a AA battery in a pinch just won't give you as much light as uh, this won't give you as much light as the um, 14500 will uh, there's the location beacon in in the red in the red LED that can be handy just to leave it sitting out somewhere with that on it and then you'll always know where the light is in a pinch EA11 pretty nice thank you for watching this video hope you've enjoyed it we'll see you at lightsandgear.com bye bye